So welcome back to my channel, to Essence of Moana channel, where I do tutorial videos on digital art, graphite drawings, and paintings. And today I am welcoming you to my very first live stream on YouTube, where I will be introducing you to one of my paintings, well, abstract paintings that I'm doing right now on wood that I got from Walmart. And you will most likely pay around $5 and you could get two panels. Or if you want a larger one, you know you're going to pay a little bit more. So the paint that I'm using is acrylic and my brushes are Uretic, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Number two, round brush. And I'm using a off-branded one of flat brush. So I'm giving you a uh, sneak peek into how I'm going to turn this painting, which is stones, into like a 3D figure looking project when it's finished and I am hoping to do this stream for at least 30 45 to an hour so you could get a good view on how long it actually takes an artist to develop something from scratch to like this beautiful uh piece of artwork right in the background I have some previous wood paintings that I have done as you could see this is a sunflower this is a lotus flower and this is in hibiscus flower. Uh, I have, except for the hibiscus, I have a lo the lotus flower and the sunflower tutorial paintings in my nature paintings playlist on my channel. So you could check that out. In the meantime, if you are, are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share your thoughts on all of video, all of the videos that you like, by the way. And I also want to give my, you know, my social media as a shout out, uh, even though I will be putting it in the description of this live stream once I'm finished. Uh, you could check me out on Instagram at essence underscore off underscore Moana. And you could check out my website, uh, www.essenceofmoana.com. You could also find me on Etsy at Essence of Moana store. And my Twitter is basically Essence of Moana, Essence of Moana, Essence of Moana, <laughs> Essence of Moana, everything, right? So you can't, you can't miss. And my logo, as you can see, my logo that's on my YouTube channel will be the exact logo on every one of my uh, socials and any online presence that you see, it will have that Pacific logo. So you guys will be able to di differentiate that it's me. Also on my socials, um, specifically my Instagram, my link tree is located in my bio and it will take you to every single uh, connectivity that I have online. So you could go and check that out. I would put something in in like the video that I usually see other people do on YouTube when they go live, but I have no idea uh, how to do that. So and as I, as I said, I had to restart my live because I had my phone rotated the incorrect way and I had some connectivity issues. So I just want to give a close up of how far I have came. Um, and let me explain this again. So I'm doing stones and I'm starting off with yellow stones. This is going to be orange, uh, green, I believe. And unless I change my mind, you know, but I'm still moving with green and then like a dark red on this side. So that's that's the, the intent. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to able to finish all the sides on this live stream because I do want to keep it to like 45 minutes to an hour. I don't want to make it too long, you know, just want to give you an insight on, on how, you know, myself create something, you know, a flat 1D, 2D looking thing to like a 3D looking thing. So, you know, I look... Uh. <laughs> So, you know, I'm introducing you guys to that. So, um, hold on one second because I, I'm also connected with my Bluetooth headset. So I'm hoping that, you know, YouTube is picking up on what I'm saying. So I'm double checking because I'm, I'm double checking because I, um, messed up the first time. So I have my tablet here to make sure that I, my live is actually make looks right right now okay see i do not understand youtube because they told me that if i rotate my camera that you will be able to see it like this right so this is how i kind of expected you guys to see it but now it still looks like straight up so i'm kind of upset <laughs> 
I, I really don't know what else I'm supposed to do so you could you guys could see it. Like it's it's so irritating. You know, like how can I get it to, to look like a rectangle like this way? I don't want it to look this way. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if they will allow me to spin to to spin the let me see cuz this is the only way I could verify what's going on is if I watch um oh man give me a second here I'm going to take it out of the thing and then switch it around and see if it will, it will allow see it still goes like that youtube yeah. what 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 are you doing man what are you doing this makes no sense i don't like what you're doing to me right now uh, so i you know what uh, i can't do anything about it so i guess we're just gonna have to keep it the way it is i'm sorry about that because i really wanted you to see my video the same way you would actually see my uploads you know which is like 920 times 1080 for all the youtubers if anybody know why this is happening let me know so on my next live stream i could figure this out okay but for now you're just gonna have to uh i, I guess i'm just gonna have to deal with whatever this is which sucks so maybe i could youtube it all right <laughs> i'm looking up why is is my YouTube live stream not nine twenty times YouTube not sixteen by nine frame. Wait, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, yeah. Switch versus YouTube with other aspect ratio. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Reddit. Man, I should have looked this up before I started the live stream. I am so sorry. And I don't even have anybody that's watching to help. So, you know, this live stream is just going to look ridiculous until I finish and then I upload it. And everybody's going to be like, oh, why did you live stream like this? It's because I don't know what I'm doing. So, you know, I'm stuck right now with a live stream that looks straight up and down like this. It's just, are you kidding me? It's supposed to look like this where you could see the whole desk. Ugh. This this is the worst. Oh my god. You know what? I'm not even gonna stress about it anymore. Let me just focus on the painting. Alright guys, so as I said, I'm trying to make these stones look like stones and not some flat stuff on a surface. I'm I'm trying to make it look 3D. So I'm you're that's what the live stream consists of right now. You're gonna see me turning these stones into 3D looking things. So and trust me, it's not going. It's it's not gonna be finishing like one, two, three. Snap your fingers. It's it's gonna take some time. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the process. And I'm gonna try and enjoy the process, even though I'm not getting what I want from this live stream. And the aspect ratio is off. Okay, I'm not gonna stress about it. Okay. Okay, so because I know this is going to take us some time, um, you know what, as well, let me test my audio, too, since I don't have anybody uh, watching live as me. I am going to um, go back on my, sorry about that, I'm going to go back on my tablet, turn the volume up, and test if you guys are actually hearing me, because if the, the visuals are off, 
and you can't hear me like what's the point <laughs> okay so most likely i'm gonna show how show you i'm gonna put this up so you can see i wonder if this light is throwing everything off okay no it's good okay so basically um i'm most likely gonna show you how i'm transforming these stones into 3d because if i do like the whole thing and then it's going to take longer. So I, I want to at least get to it where you guys could actually see it, you know, instead of waiting for me to do the whole thing. But let me test the audio real quick and see if this is uh, going well. Ooh, I like this little thing here. All right. Let me um, turn let me, this on. Um, Ooh, perfect. So, this song. Oh, perfect. So, you so guys this, can uh, actually hear oh, me. I see that three persons is watching this one, which sucks because they, they, they're they watching like it's poorly executed. Oh my god, I'm most likely gonna put that video on private, but in the meantime, let me just uh focus on this one, right? Okay. I need, so as I, as I was saying, um, when you're doing uh, 3D looking things, you have to build the colors. So you can't let everything be flat. So it's kind of have to be like dark, lighter dark, light, 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 and then like a bright center. And that's how everything is going to be layered and it's going to pop, right? So I'm going to need some black to pull this off. Do I need black? Yeah, I don't, this is a, this is a picture of black. This a little bit, because when I'm trying to pull off, and some red, because I want brown now. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I think you could, I think I can mix green and get brown as well. So, you know, sometimes as an artist, I, I even forget sometimes how to mix colors. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Sometimes you're like, what makes what makes brown again? And you're like, you know, so confused. Well, all right, this is this is how I'm gonna do it at first, right? Ah, there we go. So yeah, I can get brown from red and dark green, or like, uh, you know. But I'm gonna add some yellow into it too, because I don't want it to be too green or too red. I want some light, some lights inside of it. So let me show you what I'm mixing over here. So basically I'm mixing brown and I used a little bit of red, a little bit of green, and a little bit of yellow. And I think I got the perfect looking brown. Now, if you want your brown to be dark, that's when you add like black. But black is so overpowering, you have to add a little bit, you know? You can't add too much. So when you're painting on wood, right? You do not need to apply the colors very strong. Apply it like you're applying watercolor at first, and then you could come back and go strong because it's not really needed. Also keep your brushes clean. Every time you use a color and you're gonna use the next color that doesn't correlate, wash your brush, unless you're blending, right? Then you could keep the same colors so that way the blending process could be a lot easier. Okay, so. Just gonna scoot this up a little bit, roll up my sleeves. And you're gonna add the brown. But now that you're adding the brown, right? You also gotta keep some orange in there because you want that to blend. Because if you just add the brown and let it sit, it's gonna look like extra strong brown and, and everything else is just gonna look like yellow. So you're gonna have to keep applying so you add brown then you add orange so that's where they dark uh semi dark so super dark semi dark dark and then you start the lights start to come in right so that's when you could start because this is going to be yellowish type stone that's when you're going to start adding like the yellow and stuff you're going to blend that in blend that in And blend that in and I know you're probably like why are you not doing it all the way around because the way I, how I want this stone to look is I want one side to have like a dark color and then the lights is gonna 
be on this side. This is going to have like a little tint as well, but not as dark as the, um, it's not going to be as dark as the other side, right? Just a slight tint. So you, it could show that roundness, which that I'm trying to get in the stone, right? Yeah. And now you could like add like, you know, solid yellow in the middle. Just like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know why on my end everything looks blurry. Oh my god. Um, it didn't look blurry when I started the live. So I'm probably going to have to check back with my tablet again. <laughs> okay. So now you could add white. And trust me, white is just as strong as black. People usually underestimate white. It's just as strong as black. So when you're adding white, don't add a lot unless you know, you know, that you need this area to be like really white because it will overpower your artwork as well, just as much as the black will. And basically what you're going to do is rinse and repeat, right? So you're going to start off dark again in your darkest area, right? Start off dark and then you're just going to go and reapply, reapply, reapply until this thing looks completely round. And you could dry brush too. Dry brushing is really fun too. Like you don't always have to blend when it's wet. Like your brush could be dry. You could go in and like, like you're rubbing it out and you could dry brush blend as well. But you know, if you're an expert, then you could do your wet brush blend. Oh, I said wet brush blend. I meant wet brush blending, which which is basically I'm doing like a wet brush type blend where I'm adding multiple colors at once, and I'm like blending them together as I go. So I'm using brown, then I'm using orange, then I'm using yellow, and I'm using them all at the same time. So that was what wet, you know blending yes okay so some of the brown is still like sometimes you have to add some of the brown the darker ear uh, right there because you want you know the dark shade to come up a little bit more so you could have that roundness because if you just solely just keep most of the dark at the at the edge it will start to make the stone look like it's shifting over like this but you want to make it look a little bit more you know centered so you got to sometimes bring the darkness up a little bit or else the white is going to look like it's moving over to this you know let me bring it up closer like the white is going to make it look like it's like the the, the shiny part is coming all the way to the edge Unless that's what you want, but I, I don't want that right now. So I'm going to add some uh, darks around these areas. The only thing is I won't be building on these darks. Once I leave it, once I put it down, that's it, right? So I just want like a little tint. I still want the main dark to be on this side. Okay, talking this I'm gonna uh, pause sometimes on the talking and just focus on getting this color, color blend together. So, yeah. Oh boy, I used the yellow. I shouldn't use yellow there. She used orange. See, sometimes I mess up too. Nothing imperfect. <laughs> okay. All right, need a water break. Woo! So I want to make sure I'm, I'm on time with this stream. So I started, restarted this live stream at 4.30. So I'm going to end it at 5.30. You see, it's almost 5 o'clock and I'm only working on one stone. And I could work faster, but because I want to show the process, I don't want to like go from a bunch of stones and switch. And then when you look, none of the stones are finished. So I just want to like at least focus on one stone just so you guys could get what I'm trying to say. You know, put one stone at least in the live stream. So you guys will say, you know, even though she didn't finish like the whole thing, 
at least she showed us how to to do you know how to create the 3d looking stone at least one of the stones so you could follow the same process to create you know other stones because it's basically just a rinse and repeat session you're just going to keep going in blending 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 until you like what you see you know so yeah so i for this stone i want the the um the focal point or the highlighted point to be right in the center so that's why i'm focusing my light on the center of the stone instead of like on the edge on the side so but for the rest of the stones i will be changing the location of the highlighted points in the stones but for this one i want it to be center fold so that's why i'm focusing mostly on the edges for the dark sides um you know and then when it comes to the center it's all in the the white is all in the middle yeah yeah So now I got to do some dry brushing. Make sure this is clean. Guys, always make sure your brush is clean because, boy, if this had like a dark color in there and you just went, you just ruined your artwork. Technically, you could still go in like with a piece of cloth and wipe it off. But, you know, who wants to do all that? I'd rather just get it done the right way. So now I'm doing some dry brushing because, you know, the wet brushing it gets the job done but sometimes you need to dry a brush and go in and blend this thing out ah perfect i don't even know if you guys could see this right now because the, the i don't know why everything looks so blurry because my phone is literally streaming in 8k so i have no idea why this thing is blurry at least my front camera is 8k <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my front camera is 8K. I don't, I don't know what YouTube is giving me right now. It's probably giving me like 4K. I might need to Google that. Like, like what, what um, resolution do you, YouTube provide in live streams? If it says for 4K, maybe once I finish the live stream, then you guys will be able to see it in like 4K or 1080p. You know, for people who know about stuff like that, it's basically the resolution of how and the quality of the, the stream is what I'm talking about. That way you don't be like, man, I can't even see what she's doing because everything is so blurry. Just know it's not my fault. <laughs> it's, it's, it's YouTube's fault. And before I go do another live stream again, I'll try to do like a Google search and try to figure out why this is all happening. Because... You know, bam, 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 bam. You see how many times I have to add white? Because that's how many times you have to blend stuff out to make it look cool. Or else it just look like a bunch of colors. Just, you know, look crazy and stuff. And then another thing is texture. Oh my God. Texture is a headache sometimes because, you know, you, you think trying to get shading correct. First off, when you do the shading, depending how many details you want to put, man, you'll be all day doing textures. Unless you find like a hack or something. <laughs> There's a lot of hack to like do textures and stuff. Especially for like if you want the stones to be smooth. I want the stones to be smooth. I can't deal with all the textures right now. Sometimes as an artist, you're like, you know what, man, this is going to take way too much time. And sometimes you just stick with whatever. But I, I can't deal with all the textures right now. I just want it to look smooth. And that's it. Boop, that's it. Okay, so I'm just turning around so I could see how it looks in the light. I know right now you probably can't see it like, oh, it looks, it still looks flat. But it really doesn't like... I don't know why, but it really does it. <laughs> Probably it's just the stream. Okay. Ah. Man. Okay. So I think I'm going to do this one next because the thing with this is um, you might not see it on the first one, but when all of them start to combine with each other, you'll realize that it's slowly lifting off. 
it's gonna look like it's like really really round like it's lifting off the paper you know not the paper but the wood panel or whatever you paint on canvas same thing as long as you use the you know blended method you'll be able to get it you know so this one I'm gonna do like all the way around you know do some dry brushing with this one all right so probably speed up my brushing a little bit I swear I paint the same way I draw like I hold the brush and everything like it's a pencil there's probably like unique ways to hold the brush so you could get the best results but <laughs> I just I just like paint <laughs> like whatever you know because everything usually comes out just how I want it so but you know I'm open to like new ways of things so I'm not like that stuck up but I just paint the same way I, that I draw I probably I see a lot of people blend with like q-tips too in their paintings so I I may like incorporate that because I used to blend with q-tips in my drawings and then I, I stopped using them because you know you you find oh, oh after a while you find better ways to do to to do things so you like you know doing something if you guys could see that I'm so worried that, that you guys probably won't even be able to see what I'm doing due to this poor quality that I'm seeing on my end which is ridiculous So as I was saying, so the main color um, for this is yellow. And now you're probably like, man, but most of it look like dark. Because yellow is never just yellow. Yellow is shades of yellow, especially when you're trying to create a 3D type shape. It's never just going to be yellow. It's always going to be shades of yellow. So that's kind of what you're seeing right now. So the dark, the light, the super dark, the super light, you know. I need some more yellow, by the way. Running out of yellow. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Oh, we're 30 minutes in to this session. Which is, which is good. As soon as I restarted my session, now YouTube is saying that, like, my connectivity is good. Before... Before when my, my thing was rotated incorrectly, they kept, they kept telling me that my activity is bad. Now I just think like it, it just needed to be rotated because as soon as I rotated it, every all of those connections, BS problems went away. I haven't gotten one notification yet. So let me double check. You know, it's sad that you have to do this, but you kind of have to do this Huh, okay. See, it looks blurry now that you guys are watching it. Oh, man. All right, let me do... <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but let me do... Why does my live stream look blurry? Why does my YouTube live stream... Look blurry? The reason is probably with the internet connection. Okay, so apparently it's based on the quality of the internet connection. Oh boy. Oh man, this live stream might just be a fail. Unfortunately. I might have to get my shit together and come back another time. Because I'm streaming from my phone, as I said, so maybe I don't have enough to, to like, pull it off on my phone. That's why everything looks so unf sadly blurry. But I have, like, a brand new, like, you know, Note 20 Ultra Android, so... 
unless I probably need like a GoPro or something. Yeah, probably. Which I don't have, so I gotta work with what I got. So, I want the light on this stone to be more to this side, so I'm gonna be push in it over to that side. Dab, dab, dab. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Then circulate. Put it in a circle, right? Because you are drawing a stone, so it's best to make... Um, circulate like this. Mm. See, it's good that I put tape here to block because, well, the reason for the tape is because I want to separate how I want to paint the things. So I won't like, um, because sometimes you'll make yourself overwhelmed because you put everything all at once and you're like, oh, I'm going to finish all of this. So when you cut yourself off and like section stuff off, it really helps. It, it makes you set your goal a little bit faster because... Now, instead of you're worrying about completing this whole panel, now you're like, oh, you know, all I have to do is complete this panel. And when I'm finished with this, I complete this panel and so on and so forth. So it keeps you, as I said, it, it helps you to manage your time a little bit better and it keeps you motivated. And personally, I think it, it makes you get done a lot faster because sometimes when you see stuff um, as a whole, it will start freaking you out. But when you see it in like sections and step by step, um, you 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 calm down a little bit and you're like okay you know you're you're a lot more confident in, in finishing the product versus you know seeing it as a whole trying to get it done so yeah okay so that stone is a little bit on the darker side which is cool with me because you know I don't want all of them to have like the same reflection so some I want to be like dark some I want to be light and some super light but you know Oh my god, I probably should have ate before I started this live. Even though I'm drinking liquids and stuff. We should be good enough. So what you're hearing is like a bottle of water right there. So, Ooh, and the number one tip too that I forgot to tell you. Um, you could, there's, there's a video on my page that says secrets to painting on wood. Before you, when you buy your first wood panel, this is acrylic gesso. Before you want, not before you buy your wood panel, when you buy your wood panel, do not paint on the wood until you put some gesso on there. It makes it a lot smoother and the paint soaks way better in the wood versus it just being like, if you see the back of this is like plain panel, you might not get the same effect if you don't use acrylic gesso, okay? So that's a tip. And you can watch my secrets to painting on wood that nobody talks about video and it will show you how I applied acrylic gesso very easy you know very easy quick video for anybody if you're if you're interested and you're interested in um getting into wood paintings so so you know as you could see it takes a long time to it takes some time to develop colors, man, because I'm still working on this this stone right here. And guess what? Even though I stopped doing this one, I'm still not finished. I still got to go in and do it again. So, as I said, right now, I'm just building, like, you know, colors. So, this is, like, my next one that I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the brown right here, too. And I know you guys are probably like, why are, am I not doing the bigger stones? Because those are easy to do, so... I'm just managing, as I said, managing my time very well to the point where I know that um, th I'm doing the larger ones because they take the most time. So once I knock these out, I could jump in and do the bigger ones. I mean the smaller ones, sorry. But that's up to the artist himself. If they feel like, hey, you know, I do the small ones. Oops, sorry. I do the small ones. Then I'll jump in and do the bigger ones. Then that's that's on the artist. But for me, 
hard hard first and small ones later because I, I I could knock those out like a like like a MFA fighter M UFC I said MFA <laughs> I meant MFA <laughs> like a UFC fighter one knockout <laughs> one round knockout boop boop and it's done you know it's done it's set up no more talking no more arguing about it it's done You know, the sad part is I kind of want, I like humming sometime when I paint and I can't do that because if I hum a certain song, I'll get a copyright strike. <laughs> if I hum one of my favorite songs, they're going to, they're going to copyright strike the, the, the crap out of this video because they're going to be like, you hummed a song that is not available in your country <laughs> or you don't have the rights to use this song. So you have your your live stream has to be removed. And you're gonna be like, really? All I did was hum the song, because I thought it was a joke. When I see other YouTubers doing it, they start singing their favorite songs. And I think YouTube gives you like a thirty second or fifteen second window where after fifteen seconds and you're still singing that song, you could get hit with a copyright strike. <laughs> so, you know, you can't hum even one of your most popular songs for too long because. You know, everybody got to get paid. So if you're humming my song for way too long and I'm not making money off of it and you're making money off of it, now we got a big problem, right? So that's kind of how it works. It's crazy, but, you know, the world is for sale. Nothing is free. Something is coming out of somebody's pocket for you to get what you're getting. Trust me, nobody's, somebody's paying the penalty. It's never free. <laughs> so I also want to shout out my website again. Um, you guys could find prints on my website um and merch on my website when i say merch i don't have anything with my logo on it just things that i drew like like my artwork i put it on products and that's kind of what i have when i say merch um all of my prints are made to order at the moment i usually do well not me let me not say usually like i had smaller prints before but they're they're no longer listed on my website they're on etsy but if you want larger prints, you, you could go to my website and order them. They are made to order prints, okay? I will be listing smaller prints soon because when it comes to smaller prints, I don't want to do it made to order. I kind of want to have the inventory ready so they're like ready to ship. Made to order items take about, you know, I say two to seven business days because I use a print shop to do my made to order items. I do not print them myself because they are so large and guess what it takes a special type of machine to do gisley is it glishley oh, i have my accent is not is going to butcher this but it's gisley gisley fine art prints that's what my prints consist of they're not just regular photo paper type prints they are good quality paper prints so you know and I don't have that device to create those Jisselie prints for you guys. So I partner with like um, print printing services that I trust that will be able to like um, deliver my Jisselie prints. That's over six by four inches. So I sell like photo frame prints like, you know, six by four, 10 by 12. I think my largest is 16 by 20. Yeah, and they also pack and ship for me when it comes to those larger prints. So, and my smaller prints are packed and shipped by me personally. Okay. So you could check me out at www.essenceofmana.com. It will also be located in the description of this live stream once I'm finished. <laughs>
So as I say, you, you won't be able to see the full effect of these stones until all of them are like 3D. Then they're going to be like, yeah, that's 3D right there. You're not going to see it right away. Sometimes, sometimes you, you, you know, you don't see something as an individual, but you see it as a whole, if that makes sense. Awesome. All right, so as I was saying before, um, I was trying to like get get to show you guys one at a time, but I realized that that's just gonna take too long. So I might as well just start packing them in, so you could see the full effect at least a little bit. Because I'm already um, 45 minutes in and I'm still not finished. So, <laughs> But guess what? Because this is my first live stream and I do not like what, what I'm getting with like the image and all of that stuff. I'm not going to prolong it too long. So I'm going to definitely cut this live stream off at an hour. And I'm definitely going to try to do more live streams on the weekends. Um, because, you know, weekdays I work. So, but I'll try to do it on a weekday. Maybe test it out to see what the audience looks like on a weekday. Like most mostly in the evenings because people work in the morning, so you know, you're not gonna be able to catch a live stream while you're at work at eight AM or at two PM because then you're like probably just getting off work and you wanna cool down and you know, all of that good stuff. So I'm also gonna test out those hours and see which hours is best for live stream. But I also think Saturdays is good because some a lot of people, you know, some people go out at a certain time but a lot of people are still home i think at this time so you know and if you missed the live stream you could always come back and watch the video you know so yeah that too all right so so because i cut off half of this with tape because this is what i do right what i'm planning on doing is i want to blend these colors I want to stop them at a certain point and then merge this from yellow to like orange so this orange is gonna have like a deep orange so it's gonna be a lot darker than this because even though this started off as yellow and now it's like transitioning into like a, a orange looking color it's the main color is still yellow so we're not gonna like straight from the main color too much just want to put that down there real quick so yeah that's how we're doing it with that so we're not strained from the main color but after i switch from this it's just gonna get darker and darker and darker so it's yellow orange um red and maybe red lean into like a green yeah because i wanted to do red here but i realized it wouldn't make any sense so if i do yellow orange red and then like oh i could do brown yeah it's either gonna be green yeah brown and then the brown is gonna mix with like green to get you that dark brown you gotta mix it in with some some green some black too also you guys you see these spaces in between the stones when you're trying to make stuff pop too like you have to play on something called light highlights and shadows so if you have like a dark side right here you have to make this area light and if you have a light side right here you have to make this area dark so the opposite it's the opposite of each side is what's going to make the, the artwork pop as well so you know you could make it one flat color but if you want some depth you that's how you would do it i wish i could like stream from my tablet but my tablet is like really huge and I may need to purchase another tripod just to hook my tablet up to be able to stream until I could get like a GoPro or, you know, a better camera. But for now, you kind of got to DIY everything with your phone because I think that's what most people do anyways. Unless you're like an established YouTuber and you're like buying equipment and you're like, you know what, I'm going to do this full time and make 
as much as I can off this with my new equipment and it, maybe it will pay for itself. You know, sometimes it, your, your videos, they pay for, you know, they pay for your stuff, but you gotta be like well established to pull that off. But I know every YouTuber before they became well established and they started doing YouTube full time, you know, they were using what they could to pull off everything because you gotta start somewhere. Nobody starts from the top. You know, no one starts from the top, so. Okay, so now it's looking a little bit better because now I'm adding all the other colors to the rest of the, the stones. So now it's starting to look like a bunch of stones instead of a bunch of whatever I was doing before. And I've had this artwork in, in like my, my mind for like the longest, like, man, you need to do this stone I'm just drawn to it for some reason and, and I, I, I finally you know I stopped trying to put it off every second and now I'm like let's do this also I have another piece a focal point piece which is one of the artwork created by myself that I wanted to uh, show off as well so uh, that might be my next live stream I already finished it well semi halfway <laughs> finished but i just wanted to like share the pro the finishing process even though the, the rest is like you know almost done so and and i know um you might watch this and be like man she needs to be a little bit more bold when it comes to blending the colors but trust me um less is more when it comes to artwork sometimes you don't need to go strong and that's something you will learn as an artist because you're still learning every day but that's sometimes there's basic stuff like that you will learn depending on the type of project you're doing like as i say when it comes to wood you don't need to apply the acrylic especially if you're using acrylic i don't know if you could even use oil on wood to tell you the truth but with acrylic to me, acrylic works best when it's watered down, not when it's strong, unless that's what you're going for. But for the most part, your acrylics works so much better when it's watered down a little bit instead of it being, you know, so strong at the beginning. You don't get to blend well with acrylic because acrylic dries up so quickly. That's why when you, wa when you water it down, you get to layer it a lot better because it dries up so quickly. Okay. Uh, I can pull up my sleeves. See, if I had paint here, my whole clothes would be ruined because I keep forgetting to pull up my sleeves. Okay. Can you, can you like pause a live stream? Like if you need to like take like a restroom break or something <laughs> well give me a second i'm gonna run to the restroom i'll pop these out real quick Okay, so I am back. And I probably should also get something to drink too. Water is not enough. Gotta make sure you're hydrating yourself. Whew. 
sometimes I, the new age of what we're in um, as its perks. Because back then, back then, um, you could have never uh, just got up from a live stream and go use the restroom. But now it's like, you know, everybody is kind of a more having a more realistic view towards things like everything doesn't have to be perfect because, you know, back in the day that would be frowned upon like they're so unprofessional, you know, and even though it kind of is, it's like it's almost like, you know, like, what, what are you going to do? <laughs> because I, I, I definitely did not drink a lot of water before I did the live stream, but I, but I still have to like hydrate during the live stream because I'm, I'm sitting in one place for like one hour. I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to do this when I need to use the restroom? So the good thing is at least you announced that you're going to use a restroom, but please don't bring the headset with you in the restroom. <laughs> That's the only thing, you know, nobody wants to hear you using the restroom. <laughs> So even though it's a little bit weird that you have to get up for your live stream, just use the restroom. Uh, at least don't use your restroom. Don't bring your headset. Don't bring all the, the microphone stuff in the restroom with you. So uh, I think, yeah, other than that, you know, what are you going to do? Okay. I need this. I don't know why this stone is getting at me right now, but I need you to have a little bit of ooh, at the bottom because everything is disappearing every time. Maybe because I'm blending too much. My notifications is going off about God knows what. I don't know. But, you know... This is my first live stream and I'm very proud of myself. You know, it only gets better from here. It can't get worse because if you're focused on self-improvement, trust me, I'm definitely going to pull it off the next time. I'm still probably going to use my phone though, but I'm going to do some research on why my live stream is turned this way instead of this way, like my regular YouTube videos. So once I figure that out in this quality situation right here, which I don't even know what that's about. Um, it's going to be so bomb the next time I go live. I'm trying to, um, maybe go live a lot more, probably like on the weekends, as I was saying before, or on the weekday, test it out a little bit just to see how the market is on the weekdays. And if there's more subscribers, you know, popping up, because sometimes when it's your first live stream too, if you're even though I have like a good amount of subscribers because I had my YouTube for a while. Um, I wasn't doing art back in the day when I had my YouTube. I was just like, because let me give you a little story time. So back it back in the day on YouTube, um, you could basically post people music and stuff like that. And you will never get copyrighted, right? The only thing is you probably like have to speed it up a little bit and then it will go through. But when YouTube started the, the monetizing thing, that's where everything went left for a lot of channels. So, and by then, um, everybody started realizing, oh yeah, I could be a content creator, all of that good stuff. But I didn't really jump on that wave at the time because I originally created my YouTube to post funny videos, like, you know, funny content and, um, <laughs> Well, this specific YouTube, because I had changed the name and everything like that. So, you know, I've totally revamped it. And to post funny videos and music. and But when YouTube started monetizing and started cracking down on copyright, because now you could actually make money off YouTube as a content creator, I had to delete all of those videos, every single one. And then I became more serious with my artwork. So, you know, most of the subscribers that I had, they weren't, um, you know, subscribed to me because of artwork. They were subscribed to me because of all the stuff that I was posting back in the day. But, you know, I still didn't lose a lot of subscribers. I, I, I lost a lot, but <laughs> I definitely lost a lot of subscribers, but I didn't 
lose like a lot, lot. So now I'm like rebranding this YouTube with my art and reaching new followers and stuff like that. So from scratch and now with this new, 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 uh, new direction, you know, you got to keep up with what's hot in the art market and everybody know that's like NFTs right now and all of that stuff. So most, most, most channels are like focused on like posting that, but this channel is mostly about, uh, like tutorials and all that stuff. And, you know, teaching basically so so kind of that's most of the content on here so that's kind of what I'm what I'm focusing on and I know as an artist like everybody's doing like the same thing everybody's drawing everybody's painting and you know all, all you got to do is just find your crowd of people that like the type of artwork you do and find you appealing and maybe that will work itself out but, you know, it's definitely going to be a lot of hard work because you can't just, people are not going to subscribe to you just because, so. And they're not going to stay subscribed either because people will subscribe to you and unsubscribe if you're not delivering content, so. <sighs> okay, so I'm getting ready to close this out. So this is what I've gotten so far. Um, I It's definitely getting there, you know. I don't know if you guys could see it due to the, I don't know what type of quality YouTube is giving me right now. So this is where I'm at right now with this. I'm definitely trying to hit the one hour mark before I end this live stream. So I have like four minutes left. So, whew. so with that four minutes left, I'm just going to just do whatever I can do right now. Just to bang some of these out. I don't mean bang in like a bad way. <laughs> Oh, man. Man, I've been talk talking for like one hour. You know, you got to stay hydrated. Mm. When you talk for that long. And I need to go get something to eat once I'm finished this. Because I didn't eat anything before I started this live stream. Which is a bad idea. Always eat. Because you don't want to be eaten on the live stream. You could drink though. Because obviously you got to stay hydrated. But nobody wants to hear you chew on your live stream. At least not an art live stream. Unless you're doing like a mukbang channel. Or something. You know, I'm going to leave my sleeves up, you know, it's, I'm not doing anything on this side yet, so I'm not going to worry about my sleeve too much, you know. Whew, there we go. I like how that one looks. That one came out real smooth. Yep. So you see, now that I'm finished with like the large ones, I'm like knocking the small ones out because they're they're so easy. All you gotta do is like one, two, three. Oh, oh. The noise upstairs, that's neighbors. I don't know what they're doing upstairs, but that one was loud. That's why I was like, oh, I don't even know if I mentioned this on the this live stream or the first one that I did before I have to end it and start over. But I was saying the small ones are very easy to knock out. So, you know, I usually start with the big ones. Then I knock out the small ones after because, you know, as I said, the smaller, the better, easy to blend, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Baby, I, I can't wait. So that's one of the songs that stuck in my head. And, and I can't uh, sing any longer than that or else. <laughs> or else. Copyright strike. <laughs> so only a glimpse of that. <laughs> okay. 
So, all right. So guys, I'm ending the live right now. As I said, I'm only going to stick to the one minute mark. Sorry, one hour mark. And I want to thank everybody that will be watching this because nobody watched it while I was doing it. So, <laughs> so everybody that watched it, the live after I'm doing it off. Uh, just want to hope you guys got some value from this. And if you love the live, you love videos and you want to see more of my painting content, just go to my nature painting playlist and you could see all of these except for this one. I don't have the tutorial for this, but this and this one are up there. They're very, uh, they're not long videos. So with that being said, give this video, this live stream a like, share it, uh, comment, leave any little comments, you know, let me know uh, if you guys like the content so forth so on and so forth. I will leave my social media links in the description. And also remember to check out my website once again, www.essenceofmoana.com. Www and you could also check me out on Etsy, um, Essence of Moana store. And my logo will be on every social media platform that I have and also my website and also Etsy. So you definitely can't miss me. Um, I definitely have an online presence you will also probably see like fan pages and stuff like that. I believe there's a few fan pages. I'm not sure, but not created by myself, by the way. <laughs> um, so, yeah, with that being said, thanks everyone so much who will be watching this live stream after I post it and have a happy Saturday and hope to do some more live streams soon when I figure out this this setup and everything. So peace.